something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Hello there, ma'am.
Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. young man go change immediately ah oh, come on hey you're the new kid yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. 
Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the dorm, just a soda machine. Uh, what? I was ranking the top one percentile of the nation's smartest children yesterday. Fight me, Dewey! Please don't be mean to me! And short, I am almost no escape from the trick man! Ah, taste of you should probably burn. change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete, Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Up 
yours. Another day down the toilet for Ivan. <laughs> what a laser brain. Another crushing blow from that. It's not my fault. You uh, got a handle on the situation? Laser 
Thunder Brain. Bite me, Dillweed. You must have rolled real low for intelligence. Greetings, comrades. See you next fall. Up yours. You're dumb, even for a chimp. I'm indestructible. <laughs> How can I be expected to survive on so little food? Skinny doofus. Idiot. Why did you do friend? that? Arriba Don't mess with Zartok, the I'm mighty. Sorry. I gotta go find something to eat. Moron. Sorry, you need to speak into my good ear. Hey, you. Suck okay, less, then. noob. Bye. I'm really sorry. Is charisma your dumb stat, jerk? <laughs> Do your homework again! You'll always be stupid! You're gonna be pissing blood! One day, girls will like me! Ha <laughs> ha! What a lightweight! Oh. <laughs> Genuinely off the love sci-fi. Your move, still weak. Why do you even do these I things? Think you wanna fight? Man, if I had a camera now! What a lame boy! I can really hurt you, you know. <laughs> that window's been broken six times this week. Guess you're not addicted to breathing, breathing, huh? What are you looking at, punk? New kid. What a fool. I need a French. I really don't like you. Don't bother with me. <laughs> Genuinely awful. <laughs> Life stinks. Then you My tender soul. Crush. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Sorry. You I'm running algorithms in my head. School year starts. Being dry now. Make you so fatty. Does that make you feel big and strong? Never doing aerobics again. Never. I'm gonna die of embarrassment. <laughs> Genuinely <sucker>. awful. Ah, <laughs> uh, you suck. You're pathetic. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be free. I'll teach you what it means to be. Worst plenty ever coming your way. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> 
So she doesn't want to get in the shower with me? Fine! You're pathetic! I'm gonna get you! Tofu breath! You really want to be like me? Can you got it! Lower? <laughs> Oh no, I'm not again! Hey, Jimmy, let me show you around this Got prison. anything to say to this? That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Enough talk! Now I smashed you! Come on, give me a break. You, Cash, now! Please let me off the hook. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you don't know what pain is! This just enough not to smash you. Come on, let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Well done! You do know you're not supposed to be doing that. Chocolate. You know you love it. What gives you the Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. 
Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Fascinating, isn't it? Hmm, very good. Carry on. Factory work, James. I'll see you next class. That's how you do it! Jimmy comes through again. Oh, come on, I never meant it. We're equals. Let's talk it out. Oh, yeah, how about this? You'll regret this. I swear never you will. Please don't do this to me. Thing. You see this? Well, if they want a shock, I'll give it to them. The best damn big block they'll ever see. Well, that's what happens when you're as cool as me. How could she have said that? I'm totally a nice guy. There will be no more complaints about you from our staff. Do I make myself clear? This is your only warning. Don't mess up again. And I want you to stay out of trouble from now on. I hate my life! Oh, my cover was blown. Better collect that. This guy fell on my head. <laughs> okay, really buddy. need to beat someone Mom, soon. Your clothing is social suicide. Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time.
Well done. Good one. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? I don't think that's in the dictionary. I'm afraid that's not English. Try again, James. I'm afraid that's not English. Try again, James. I don't think that's in the dictionary. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? I'm afraid that's not English. Try again, James. Keep it up! Well done! That has to be some sort of slang, yes? Hmm. Maybe you should spend a little more time reading, James. Would do you good. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> what you gonna do? Get in the 
Hadouken. Beat him down. Hey guys, let's teach this new kid a lesson. No stopping, Jimmy Hop. If you don't like it, then do something with your phony ass. Later, man. Hmm. Baby human. I wonder if they're buying my tough guy act. Tell me if you hit harder than Later, man. Too bad. <laughs> you this forced me to do this, and you will. I wish I could just stay in bed and read today. Granny always talking about weird stuff. You don't have to try harder than that. Is four teams too many to be on? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> what a lightweight. Someone would cause some trouble. Good for nothing, bum. Fear not, a prefect is on the case.
can't hide from the pain train. Don't bother me, kid. I sure hope nobody gives me a wedgie today.
Not loser! I'm not locked. Who's a little whiny jerk now, huh? Hey, how's it going? Later. I wonder who would win in a fight. A bear or a gorilla? I bet you're gonna... Did you ever take any supplements? You think you can figure this? throw this away.
All right, wimps, it's time for some wrestling instruction. This rule will require physical contact between you and your opponent. Don't any of you enjoy it? Bullhorn's gonna give up! Yeah! I have so many years ahead of me! Don't do Yay, it! Bullhorn! That's better, Hopkins! <laughs> Please! I thought I you were supposed to be tough, Jimmy I'm gonna boy. die of embarrassment! That's what I like to see! You don't wanna touch- I have so many years ahead of me! Don't do it! That's right, hurdle! My tender soul, crush! I can't do anything right! Go, Bullhorn, go! Alright, boys! I want you to concentrate! <laughs> Yay! Go team! Not too bad, Hopkins! All sorted. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <gasps> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. 
Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> 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 Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. Ow. Hey, Jimmy, follow me. with a slingshot? Friends? Friends are for the weak. I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need that. Good, what can I say? I'm not one of these guys who can't fight. 